Okay, so we're going to have a look uh, at explaining the trend in reactivity uh, of the group 1 elements. If we just remind ourselves the elements that are in group 1, we've got lithium, sodium, potassium, uh, rubidium, and cesium. And we should know that the elements become more reactive going down the group. So going down this uh, this pattern here, <clears throat> we'd expect lithium to be less reactive than sodium and so on, and cesium being the most reactive in the group. So in order to explain that, we need to go back and have a understanding of uh, what happens when group one elements react. So we know that all group one elements have got one electron in their outer shell. So one electron in their outer shell. That means that when they react, they want to lose that electron. So I'm just drawing uh, an electron shell diagram now for the element lithium. Lithium has three electrons, and we know that lithium, um, because it's in group one, is going to have one electron it's in its outer shell. So I'm just going to put uh, two electrons there on its first shell, and then the outer shell, the uh, shell that's got the, 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 the last one that's got an electron in it, uh, has got one electron in it. And when lithium reacts with non-metals, that electron gets donated or given to the non-metal um, and, and will ultimately help form an ionic bond. And it's how easy it is to remove this electron that determines reactivity. So let's compare two elements. We're going to compare lithium and uh, potassium. So I'm only going to draw now uh, a positive charge here to represent the nucleus and the outer electron shell and I'm just going to put one electron uh, there so that's representing the outer electron shell of lithium now if we do a similar thing for potassium potassium is a much larger atom because it's got more shells in between so lithium has only got one shell between the nucleus and its outer shell. Potassium has got three. I'm just not drawing them here. I'm only drawing the outer electron. So in terms of attraction, the, there is a much stronger attraction between the nucleus and the outer electron because they're closer together in lithium. If we do a similar thing for potassium, that attraction is going to be much weaker because the positive charge and the outer electron are uh, further apart from each other. So because potassium is larger, because it's got more what we call shielding electron shells, so that would be the electron shells that are in between here. So it's larger, it's got more shielding electron shells, which means the outer electron is further from the nucleus. And if it's further from the nucleus, the attraction between the nucleus and outer electron is weak. That means it's more easily lost. So that outer electron is more easily lost in potassium. And we'd say the opposite is true for lithium. <clears throat> it's smaller. It's got less um, shielding uh, electron shells. Uh, the outer electron is closer to the nucleus. And therefore, it's got a stronger attraction and harder to remove. So I've done a summary flowchart to try and explain all of this. Um, it's also going to be available in the uh, work that um, I'm going to set for you. So it might be a little bit tricky for me in, to be able to show the whole thing on here um, in one go. So again, we've uh, summarized the trend in reactivity um, for group one elements. We know that they need to lose one electron when they react. Uh, and here's a diagram of that electron 
uh, being removed for lithium. And therefore, we ask ourselves, how easy is it to remove that electron? Um, and we can compare, in this case, I've compared lithium and sodium, and it's a similar idea as uh, the, what we just did previously. So uh, lithium, the electron is closer to the nucleus, therefore there is a stronger attraction, it's harder to remove, and therefore lithium is less reactive. With sodium, the electron is going to be further from the nucleus because there's more shielding electron shells. We have a weaker attraction, it's easier to remove, and therefore sodium is more reactive. And as we go down the group, this is just going to get bigger and bigger, and this effect is going to increase. Thank you very much.